Hello friends, myself Sandesh M. Raghav. Let's learn SQL without any prior knowledge. Yes, you are right. Without any prior knowledge, you can learn SQL. SQL is Structured Query Language. To make you understand easily, it is same like Excel sheet. But in this, you can store more data when compared to Excel. Let's start. So to start SQL for practice and we need SQL Server. Like to use Excel, we need a MS Office software. Same way, we can use SQL Server provided by Microsoft. Let's go and download and install SQL Server step by step. We have opened Chrome browser. In Google, we type SQL Server download. So we are showing here for Windows system. So we go to the Microsoft official server, click on SQL server downloads. In this, so many options are there. We'll come here. We are having two free edition. One is SQL server 2022. Developer is a full future edition licensed for use as a development and test database. So you can use it for non-production, for your training, everything. Second one, SQL Express Edition, which is also you can use it for development and production for local. So we go for Express now, download. So download has happened. We click that exe. So SQL Server, it will give three options, one basic, custom and download media. So we will go with basic installation method, click basic. We need to accept Microsoft SQL Server license terms. Click on accept to proceed further. Default location will show where this SQL Server is going to install. If you want to change, we can change it. So I am keeping it as default location. Click on install. So downloading install packages is taking place. It will take some time to download. Once download is completed, it is going to start installing. Now download is successful. Installation started. Now we ended with an error. It is telling that an installation package for the product Microsoft ODBC driver 17 for SQL Server cannot be found. Try the installation again using a valid copy of installation package. So to resolve this, we will go to Google type ODBC driver 17 for SQL Server. We will go to the official Microsoft site. Click on this. Below, we can see ODBC driver 17, 64, click, now we install that. Allow users to change, modify, next, next, install. So, the installation is complete. Click on finish. Now we go to SQL Server. Once again, we start with basic accept install. So, download already done. So, that's why it is going to start from installing. Almost 80% completed installation. Installation has been completed successfully. Now it will show the connection string and SQL administrator log folder, media folder and resource folder. We will continue with default. Now we need to install SSMS. SSMS means SQL Server Management Studio. This is a tool which is used to retrieve data from database. We click on install SSMS. Once we click on install SSMS, 
the page is redirected to Microsoft site to download SQL Server Management Studio. So let's come down. There is an hyperlink download SQL Server Management Studio. We click on that, it will download exe. It will take few minutes. Now download almost completed. We open the exe file. It will ask click install to begin. Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio release 20.1. Default location we are keeping it. There is no changes. Click on install. If you are an administrator, there is no need of password. But if system asks administrative password, you need to enter to proceed further. Now the packages are in progress and overall progress. This will take few minutes. Setup completed. All specified components have been installed successfully. Click on close. Now we can start accessing our newly created SQL server. We go to search option. We type SQL Server Management Studio. We click on this. System is getting ready for the first time. Now on login, server type is database, server name by default, system created SQL Express, authentication, we are going to continue with Windows authentication, encryption mandatory, trust search certificate, take that and click connect. Now we are able to access our server database by default. Four databases master model msdb tmdb is created. We should not delete this, we need to keep it as it is, and we can create further databases to use database and how it works. So, in the next video, we will see how to create database. Thank you for watching.